Welcome back to A Country Boy Can Cook. This morning we're going to make peach bombs. Going to use Lucky Leaf pie filling. It's going to be so easy. Let me get some butter here. Also going to use large, they're 8 inch, like burrito tortillas. You can see right here, they're flour. You can also get these in uh, whole wheat. So, like I said, it's really a simple recipe. All you want to do is take your flour tortilla. These have been out for a while, so they're pliable. I just take, brush on a little butter right here in the center. Not a lot. We'll save that until the end. Let's see here. Make it easier to see here. Then I want to take my pie filling, which is peach, and uh, Put some in the middle of the burrito. Get back in there. All right. And you don't want it in the center. You want it back to one side. That's about the right amount. Maybe a good tablespoon. So what you do is the burrito roll. Bring it in from the sides. Lay it in here, touching. Bring this over. Grab it here, tuck this back in. What this is doing is sealing in that burrito sealing in all the goodness now if you have an explosion comes out the end yeah don't worry about it it'll still be good anyway back to the making these try to get through them pretty quick this is a quick and simple dessert if you like fried pies or hand pies You can use uh, just regular peaches, but you need to cook them down, like canned peaches. They just don't have the flavor and they don't have the thickness like this right here. You want that. Do the burrito roll. Flip it up on both sides. Roll it over to lock it in. I'm slow this morning. I don't know why. Old dude's hands aren't doing as good, I guess. We're going to cook these in the air fryer. Like I said, you want it on one side, not that in the middle. Makes it a lot easier to roll. Alright. Bring it up like that. Bring it to the side so you can kick it in. Almost touching or right? overlapping. Just hold in and roll it. Do the burrito roll. Have any of my friends ever made these? They're so good. I did some a couple of weeks ago. I just called them cherry bombs because I used a cherry pie filling. 
God, they were great. <clears throat> Everybody tasted them, fell in love with them. A couple of people said, you need to start selling those. <clears throat> so right now, they're just in the experimental stage. I used to sell cakes and pies and all kinds of pastries, but it's been several years. Get these touching. Roll that up. down to the end of the can. One big peach trying to hide away from me here. This will be the King Burrito. The King Peach Bomb Burrito. If we can get her all logged in here. <clears throat> It'll be a fat boy. All right. Uh, get back in there. No problem. <clears throat> it is the fat one. All right. I've got two more to go. Let me change cans here. Use my trusty dusty tool that I made to get stuff out of the air fryer. I still don't have a lot of strength in my hands. I'm getting better. And if I talk about my hospital stay and stuff, I don't want sympathy. I just let y'all know that there's always hope. So never give up. I mean, there was a time that uh, I couldn't walk. They were fitting me in a wheelchair and I decided, no, that wasn't for me. And uh, so, just, you know, never give up. Just keep on trying. I know there's days that it seems like that you don't make a, if you've got a goal in mind, weight loss, whatever. And it just seems like it's spinning and it's not going anywhere. Don't give up. My dad taught me years ago when I was a little boy. Don't be a quitter. So, if you're doing this and... Uh, you're getting your flour tortillas right out of the fridge. You might want to microwave them for a minute until they get a little warm and pliable. Get this over here. <clears throat> Makes a lot easier to roll. These have been out for about an hour, so. I mean, you don't even have to keep them in the fridge. I don't know how long they last on the shelf, but uh, they last a long time anyway.
and I'm gonna have some of this left. But that's okay, I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it until the next time. All right, the last one, do the roll. Bring it in on the sides. Sides touching here. Kind of clip it shut here. Bring it over. Touch the sides. Keep on rolling. Don't give up. Yeah. Got one trying to escape over here. There's one good thing about these. If they don't look very pretty, it don't matter. They taste good. You will, you will love the taste of them. All right. Got a paper towel here. Get my hands a little dry for my next step. All right. So I'm gonna take them the seam side, which is this. When I'm cooking that, I will push that down on that side. So it holds it shut while it's baking. And what I'm gonna do now, let's see here, take more butter like you need more, but it does need more. It needs, it needs some on the outside to crisp up. And just do a light coat of butter on the outside. I have some pumpkin pie spice. See that? It's cause I'm out of cinnamon. So, I'm gonna use some pumpkin pie spice. See how fast it comes out. Yeah, that's okay. And just sprinkle just a little over the top. Right back with you. back with you. I had to get the last component. Take my tortillas, get them out of the way. This is my cinnamon I'm out of. I have to pick some up at Wally World. Oh, goodness. So I'm going to take some sugar. Yeah, I bet you can see where this is going already. Put the lid back on it. Okay. Shake it around. Do the crowning touch. A little bit of cinnamon sugar on top of that pumpkin spice spice. The flavors will be wonderful together. Alright. 
Now. You can hear my guard dog. There's probably a leaf blown across the street or a bird flying by. Almost anything could get him going. He's only about 15 pounds. And he's 15 pounds of fun. And he really is a pretty good little guard dog. He lets you know when the uh, UPS is here. And uh, speaking of that, he loves our UPS guy. Our UPS guy is Kurt. So when I see, if I'm in the living room and I see Kurt pull up, even if Big Band's asleep, I say, Kurt! He jumps up and runs to the top of the chair where you can look outside and bark Sam. It's a different bark. It's not an aggressive bark. It's like, hey. So I'll go open the door for Kurt and he'll always stick his head in and say, hey, good morning. How are y'all doing? Or good afternoon. And he always says hello to Big Man. That makes Big Man feel special. All right, so I'm going to take this butter spray. I don't think I need it. But just in case, I don't want anything sticking to my basket. and just lightly spray it. And then I'm gonna stick these peach bombs on top of my basket. And we'll probably, these things cook really quick. Looks like I'm gonna get Four. This is two, four, six, seven. That's perfect in amount. So, in the air fry they go. I'm gonna put it on the air fry. See if you can see it or not. It's on air fry right here. So push the button that starts it. The time is already preset it uh, 20 minutes. I'm gonna set the temperature though to like 400. Because it won't take long to cook. so I can see it. It's already preheating. Yep. Turn the wrong light on. That wasn't the light. That was the off button. There's the light. Let there be light. Glad you're back with me. We're gonna shut this off for a minute. I, I'm smelling like something's cooked. Go by your senses. I always know when I've got a cake in the oven or cornbread, I can start to smell it. So, oh yeah, They're really looking good. I'm gonna rotate these over. Yeah, it's good to be an old dude sometime. You can get tough hands. Working on the farm all my life, hauling hay, does not hurt you. When they say doesn't, whatever doesn't, what it, if it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. I think that was my dad's philosophy. So at 400, it just took a couple of minutes. These tortillas are cooked. I just want them a little bit crispier. That's the reason I put butter on them. 
back in the air fryer. Back on air fry. Temperature back to 400. Won't take long now. Old dudes having lemonade. I've already had coffee a couple of hours ago, so it's great on a hot day to have some lemonade. All right, let's check these out one more time. See what they look like. I think they're going to brown up really crisp, really quick. Oh yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to switch to air broil because the bottom is already cooked. I just want a little color on this side. It's a good thing about one of these little air fryers, especially this size. You can go to a motorhome, a college campus, wherever, it doesn't matter. It makes wonderful toast on the air broiler side. It's only cooking on the top side now. And, uh, oh yeah. Probably in 30 seconds it's gonna cook these. I mean, it doesn't take long at all on air broil. It does start browning. Uh, push it down. Yeah, all right, same, same color. It's been on less than one minute. Good enough. All right. Let's get these babies out of here. You washed it in real time. That's how fast the air fryer is. Yes, it is hot. So you got to be careful. So I'm going to take and vert these back over. Put the pretty side up. Actually, it's all pretty because it's all pretty good and tasty. Change it to another hand. It's not got, I got burns on it here. You can see how crispy it is. It's almost like a crispy fried pie. I mean, it's so close it scare you. Except you didn't have to roll out the dough. One more. In. I'll clean the basket out later. My recipe is on the air fryer, which I just started a few months ago. It's cooking by the seat of your pants. Let your senses take over. So there you are. Let me get you a picture, better picture, closer shot of that. Lots of peach yumminess sitting right there. And you made it in just a few minutes yourself. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for tuning in and being part of the old dude's world. Talk to you later. Talk to me, my taste testers. I'll try it. All right. <laughs> it might be hot, so be careful now. There's a little bit of butter and a little sugar on the outside of it. That's good. Did you, you want like that? Napkin? Yeah, I did. Choosing to focus on Very good. Oh, thank you. Based on passenger concerns. Yeah, well, that's great. You like that? Yeah. Perfect. Good for a snack. Mm -hmm. That's good. I was going to tell you, say your mom about, but yeah, I'll make her one one time. Okay. I'll make her and your dad sign one. That's pretty good. Thank you. Enjoy their ride. One gets you where you need to go quickly and on time. Dirt says plans for a subway aren't completely off the table, just more so on a...
my taste testers came by, Hudson and Porter Hale, next door neighbor boys. They loved them. Kids don't lie. Y'all have a great day.